Hello again, everyone. Today I just wanted to pop in and show you a really cool watercolor related product that I found on Etsy recently at a shop called Poems About You. Uh, you may have already heard of this shop, but I was only recently introduced to it. Uh, it's one of those things that I found on Instagram that was like, uh, you're going to spend all your money here. <laughs> but uh, but actually, it's relatively inexpensive for uh, what they sell. So I'll show you. So I had all of these different tins that I had intended to use for watercolor, and they all had a few issues. Um, this one, it just didn't really fit. I mean, this, this is actually, it contained a nib at one point and I gave you a little preview there of what you're going to see inside, but I'll show you in a minute. So, um, I mean, it didn't really fit pans well, like you could, it didn't, it didn't fit things perfectly in here. Cause I was going to use this for a watercolor tin, um, to put half pans in and it just was a little the size was a little strange for for half pans so um and then with these two i found that they were really too deep to be using for regular half pans and then this one i've shown on the channel before i did um sort of an unboxing i suppose and set it up this is the uh portable painter palette mini or micro and I just wasn't using this because I felt like it just didn't give me enough space to hold colors. So it had been sitting largely unused or pretty much unused <laughs> um, since I got it. But this new product that I got, I think, is going to make it very usable. So I will start with these and then I'll show you um, what's in the portable painter here. So, uh, so these are little, I think they're 3D printed inserts that you put in here. Um, I have some of these put down with uh, sticky tack, but I think one of them is not because it fits so snugly. Yeah, this one. So essentially these are little plastic inserts. And like I said, I think they're 3D printed and uh, they are made specifically for these particular containers. Um, we'll talk about these in a minute. Those are a different product. So, um, so I got a few. I, I actually originally decided to get uh, things that I'd found on there because of the things that are in here. Again, I don't want to reveal too much about that. But then these were sort of like, a, oh, that's kind of cool that they have these. And it was an add-on. Um, so it just fits in these and it comes all the way up to the top. So they're, the wells are clearly different size than um, half pans or full pans, but you can fill it all the way up to the top, which is really nice. Um, and I feel like there's no unused, unused space. And, um, you know, one of the issues before when I just had half pans in here is um, I didn't want to sort of be digging down into this box because it's so deep to get my colors. And I couldn't really get a very good angle on the pan so that I wouldn't just be digging in with my brush, the tip of my brush. So I think these will solve that problem. Even if there's paint way down in there, I can still sort of angle in my brush to get in there. And I might actually angle the paint in these little wells so that it's even more brush friendly. Um, so they, they have them in various sizes. These actually represent a few different sizes. And I think they actually have a larger one and sort of like a medium size that's in between these two as well. So I'm going to put a link to the Etsy shop below so that you can check them out. But this one has, what is it? Two, four, six, eight, ten. This is 12 wells. And then I think this is 18. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Yeah. And that, so this one has a little bit more than this one. And then I think this is the only size that they have for the smaller size tin. And uh, it holds six colors. So um, this is gonna be really handy, I think, but the only downside to these is that I change out my colors and palettes usually pretty often. And this doesn't really allow you to do that because once you put the colors in, the colors are in there and you can't really change them out. So, um, so I have to be really careful about, which is why they're not filled yet, basically, because I have to be really careful to pick colors that I think will go really well together. I think what I might end up doing, especially with this 18 well one, is I think that I might, 
uh, sort of reduce my standard palette that I carry with me everywhere and just put the the best colors or the, the colors that I would use more frequently or uh, the colors that I was using when I had a smaller uh, set for that. I might put those in here because I know that those colors are going to go together and I will use them together for a decent amount of time. Um, but I just thought that was a really cool idea and it gives some more usability to these and they're really they really are very inexpensive so you, it's not that much at all to try these out um, this was actually a watercolor tin that I got with some handmade watercolors that I purchased at one point in time I think um, and it was a while ago it was maybe a, a couple three years ago and I think since then most watercolor sellers have kind of recognized that this is a little too tall for a watercolor palette and then this was just a mint container so you can see on the back I, I don't even remember where I got these mints um, I may have gotten them through Amazon so that I could use the tin um, but I thought it was a cute tin so so I got that one and like I said this used to this was this came with a nib in it from Beaufort ink and I just thought it was a really nice container but it doesn't really work and I and because this works so well I have another one that I got from Jasper Stardust on Etsy um, that's pretty much the same size as this and I actually did try out the insert it does fit in both of these so I ordered another one with some other things so let me show you this that's in the portable painter so these things that are in here was the main reason why I went to the shop originally so um, I'll, I'll put a link to my original video on this micro portable painter they come with their own um, little half pans that are sort of a not a standard size and it, this can only hold six colors with those or you can put uh, two full pans and two half pans in here but this uh, poems about you shop makes full pans that hold three colors and four colors actually and I've actually ordered some of those in addition when with my other little uh, insert and then they also sell half pans that hold two colors so basically by dividing this up like this, I mean, you could probably figure out a way to do this on a standard pan, but this is so much easier and very inexpensive for this solution. Now they don't fit in there perfectly because these the pans that do come with this are not a standard size. So there's a little bit of a gap on either side, but it's so small and I think the utility that I'm gonna get out of this with being able to hold more colors in this configuration is gonna be so much better than um, you know using every single millimeter of space in here so let's see this I, I had a hard time figuring this out to begin with but I think I've now kind of gotten the hang of how things go in here so this you have one side with a little water pot and then you have um, on the underside of the lid here you have a little mixing tray and then there's this which you can hold I think I think pretty much in between your your um, hands this is too small to put a finger through so you just hold it like that and then you have you can either put water in here or you can use it as a mixing area and then you have all these different mixing areas but like I said it just wasn't really practical for me to have this sort of palette with only six colors so this will allow me to hold 10 colors which I think will be much more useful for me because I tend to like like a lot of colors I mean even 10 colors is a little on the 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 low side for me but uh, which is which is also why I got the four the four compartment full pants I, I may replace that because then I could have 12 in here which I think is more of a sweet spot for me but this is also going to open up all kinds of possibilities for other palettes and putting full pans and half pans with various colors so I'm really really excited about the possibilities with this Obviously the same problem for the inserts applies here because once they're in these little wells, you can't really take them out. So these three colors are always gonna be together and these two colors are always gonna be together until you run out of one at least. So, um, but it's really, really cool and uh, I'm really looking forward to figuring out what colors to put in here and organizing it that way. And because this really is a very cute, practical palette. Um, and it's super, super small. I mean, if I could have 10 to 12 color, uh, well, I will have at least 10 in here. Uh, it's just going to be so nice to just throw it in a bag or something and use it like that. So I just wanted to introduce those to you if you hadn't heard of them before. 
and um, it just it's the first watercolor related product in a while where I was like oh this is really something cool that I can get a lot of use out of <laughs> um, but obviously this is the initial stages I haven't used these because um, I haven't filled them yet but they do seem pretty sturdy and you know I mean they're at least as sturdy as regular half pans even though the walls may be a little thinner I think you're not going to have any problems with durability uh, I mean unless you're throwing them across the room or something but I think these are going to be really great all right well that's all I had for you today I'm going to put a link to this shop uh, the Etsy shop down below and I'm also going to put the link to my original video on the portable painter micro and um, like I said, that's all I have for you today. If you'd like to subscribe, please do to keep track of future videos on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. I hope to see you next time. But in the meantime, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.